We're still working with polygons on the coordinate plane. Today we're gonna to do a little more practice with plotting those on the coordinate plane and identifying what shape it is that we're plotting and then finding the area of that shape. So let's go ahead and do chapter nine, lesson five, extra practice number five. And this question says, graph each figure and classify it, then find the area. So first let's go ahead and start graphing these points. First we have negative four, four. And remember on our coordinate plane, we need to walk before we take our elevator. So if we have negative four, we're gonna go to the left negative four because negative is left and down and positive is right and up. So we're gonna go negative four, two, four, four. Positives are gonna ride the elevator up. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this is point A. Then we have two, one. We have both positive numbers, so we're gonna go right and up. One, two, one. That's point B. Okay, we have two negative ones, so we're gonna go right and down. Two, negative one. Point C, and we have negative four, negative one, so we're gonna go left and down. Two, four, negative one, point D. Okay, and then let's go ahead and connect our points. All right. Now we can't find the area of this figure until we classify what kind of figure this is because we need to know what figure it is in order to know what formula to use for the area. So let's take a look at this figure. <clears throat> we know that we have all straight lines, except for this one, I got a little squiggly down here, but they are all straight lines and we have one, two, three, four straight lines. So that makes us a quadrilateral. What kind of quadrilateral we have? Well, we have to dig in a little deeper. Let's see, we have, well, those are not parallel, but we do have a parallel line here and here. But these lines are not parallel, I don't have any other pairs, just line AD is parallel to line BC. So for a quadrilateral that has one set of parallel lines, we have what is known as a trapezoid. So this figure is a trapezoid. Now that we know what kind of figure this is, we can figure out what the area is. So let's go ahead and write the area of a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is one half times its height times the group of base one plus base two. All right, now that we have this formula, let's go ahead and start plugging in what we know. All right, so we have one half times the height. Now here's where I think you guys are getting mixed up. You're wanting to do the height as this line right here to this line right here and just calculate the height here. But that's not how a trapezoid works. A trapezoid's height is actually from base to base. Now here's what's a little confusing because all the trapezoids we've done so far, the base has been on the bottom and the top. But if you notice in this figure, our bottom line and our top line are not parallel to each other. So these lines right here are not our bases. They are actually the legs of our trapezoid. The bases are actually the parallel lines AD and BC. Now here's a little trick. If you're having a really hard time with that, just turn your coordinate plane and now it looks more like the problems that we've done so far where we have our bases on the bottom and the top. So now that we know that the height is from base to base, let's go ahead and count how many units it is from base to base. So let's start here in the bottom on AD and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six units. So our height for this trapezoid is six. All right, now let's see what our bases are. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. If you don't wanna turn it, if you know that these two are your bases, you can go ahead and start counting right here for your bases. But I'm gonna move it back just for those who need that extra visual there. So I'm gonna do line AD for the first base. So we've got one, two, three, four, five units. And now I'm going to do our other base on the top, line BC, and we have one, two units. And now we just need to solve our equation. So let's go ahead and bring down our area equals. 
uh, PEMDAS, orders of operation, tells us that we need to do what's in the parentheses first. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 1 half times 6, 5 plus 2, which gives us 7. We're going to keep on moving down the line. Now we have 1 half times 6 times 7. We have to do this set of multiplication first. So we have 1 half times 6, which gives us 3. Bring down the rest of your equation. And then lastly, we have 3 times 7, which gives us 21. Now when you go back into the problem, it does not say what unit this figure is. So we don't know the unit. So in order to properly write this, we're gonna say that the area equals 21 units because it doesn't specify what units they are, and we know that the area is always squared.